Hello Grade 10 Learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka palang sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So, yung last video na in-upload ko ay nag-evaluate tayo ng uh, combinations. So, ngayon naman ay magsasolve tayo ng problems involving combination. So, that is a combination of n objects taken r at a time. So, somewhat confusing yung ilang problems kung ano ba ang gagamitin mo, permutation or combination. So, tandaan lang na kapag hindi uh, significant yung order na hinahanap, so that is under combination. And the formula that we are going to use is a uh, combination of n objects taken r at a time equals n factorial all over r factorial times the quantity of n minus r factorial. So, let's start uh, with the first problem. So, how many different committees of four people can be formed from a pool of seven people? So, the order of being selected for a committee is not significant. Thus, the problem asks for the combinations of seven, seven objects taken four at a time. Again, dito sa problem natin ay magsaselect tayo ng four people out of seven people na bubuo ng committees. So, therefore, hindi naman mahalaga dito yung arrangement. And this problem is under combination. So, we have here our formula. So, combination of seven people taken uh, four people at a time equals we have 7 factorial over 4 factorial times the quantity 7 minus 4 factorial. So, equals 7 factorial. So, let us simplify the denominator. So, that is 4 factorial. 7 minus 4 is 3 factorial. Okay, since sa denominator natin ay malaki yung 4 factorial, so we can rewrite 7 factorial with a factor of 4 factorial. So this can be written as 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. All over 4 factorial, 3 factorial. So pwede natin ngayon i-cancel itong 4 factorial. So equals 7 times 6 times 5. So, we have 7 times 6 equals 42 times 5 equals 210. Over 3 factorial, that is 3 times 2 times 1, so that is equal to 6. Equals, so 210 divides 6 or divided by 6 equals 35. So, therefore, there are 35 different committees. Yan. So, let us check our answer using our scientific calculator. But I would like to remind our students na much better to use our formula. So, in solving. So, manual computation natin. So, just use calculator to check whether your answer is correct or not. So, wag lang tayong gagamit ng calculator. So, we have here press 7 and then shift itong NCR. So, ito siya. And then press 4. Then equals. So, the answer is 35. So, there are 35 different committees. So, let's have our next problem. In how many ways can a team consisting of two boys and three girls be formed? Again, bubuo daw ng team that is consisting of two boys and three girls. If there are six boys, again, out of six boys, pipili lang ng dalawa. And then, out of 10 girls, pipiliin ng tatlo who qualified to be in a team. 
So our solution for that, the problem can be separated into two parts. The number of ways the boys can be chosen and the number of ways the girls can be chosen. Nabubuo sa isang team. Again, this is an example of combination kasi hindi naman significant dito yung arrangement. So, whether kung sino yung mapili doon sa boys or kung sino yung mapipili sa girls. Again, so, meron tayo dito ang dalawang uh, combination. So, the first one is to tayo sa combination ng boys. So, combination of six boys uh, taken two at a time. Again, out of six boys, dalawa lang yung pipiliin. Times combination of ten girls taken three at a time. Again, itong problem natin ay sineparate natin into two parts. The first part is the number of ways the boys can be chosen. That is combination of six taken two. And then, the number of uh, girls can be chosen. That is the combination of 10 taken 3. Para malaman natin kung ilang uh, ways ba makakabuo ng isang team who qualified. Yung mga qualifiers. Ayan. So, we have here. So, dito muna tayo sa una. That is 6 factorial over 2 factorial. 6 minus 2 factorial times ito pangalawa 10 factorial over 3 factorial times the quantity 10 minus 3 factorial so isold muna natin itong una so dito muna tayo sa boys so we have here 6 factorial over 2 factorial 6 minus 2 is 4 factorial so, notice na ang denominator natin na malaki ay yung 4 factorial. So, we need to write the numerator 6 factorial with the factor of 4 factorial. So, this can be written as 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 2 factorial 4 factorial. So, cancel. So, that is 6 times 5 is 30. Right? 6 times 5 is 30 divided by 2 factorial or 2 which is 15. So therefore, there are 15 combinations boys can be chosen. So how about girls? So same, 10 factorial over, simplify natin itong uh, denominator na 3 factorial over 10 minus 3 is 7 factorial. So, lagyan natin dito. Sin natin. 3 factorial, 7 factorial. Equals. So, since ang malaki dito sa ating denominator ay itong 7 factorial, so we need to write uh, 10 factorial with a factor of 7 factorial. So, this can be written as 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial over 3 factorial, 7 factorial. So, cancel na natin to. So, that is 10 times 9 times 8. So, lagay muna natin dito. So, 10 times 9 is 90. 90 times 8 is 720 divided by 3 factorial. That is 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. So, 720, 720 divided by 6 is 120. So, sa girls naman, so, there are 120 combinations na pwede nating mabuo. And then, you just multiply it. So, 120 times 15 equals 1,800. Yeah. So, there are 1,800 ways. So, let us check our answer using a calculator. So, press 6 and then shift combination and then 2. So, lagyan natin siya ng parenthesis times 10 combination of 10 taken 3. 
so equals so eto so you have 1800 ways so for our last problem a math teacher requires each student to solve 5 out of 15 problems of the 15 problems 3 are in statistics 7 are in algebra and 5 are in geometry. In how many ways can a student select each of the following for the 5 problems? A. 5 algebra problems. Again, this is an example of combination since order is not significant or important. So therefore, a student needs to answer 5 out of 15 problems. So, we're in combination yung 15 problems na yon na tatlo doon ay statistics, 7 doon yung algebra, at 5 doon in geometry. So, in how many ways can a student select each of the following for the 5 problems? A, 5 algebra problems. So, therefore, that is combination of 7 so, why 7? Because there are 7 algebra problems out of 15 problems and you need to take 5 problems and that is your R. Again, that is combination of 7 taken 5. Again, ang sasagutan niya ay 5 algebra problems and then there are 7 algebra problems out of 15 problems. Equals 7 factorial over 5 factorial 7 minus 5 factorial equals 7 factorial over 5 factorial 2 factorial. 7 minus 5 is 2 factorial. So, ang malaki dito sa ating denominator ay 5 factorial. Therefore, we need to write the numerator 7 factorial with a factor of 5 factorial. So, this can be written as 7 times 6 times 5 factorial over 5 factorial, 2 factorial. So, 7 times cancel. So, 7 times 6 is 42. Over, 2 factorial is 2. So, our final answer is 42 divides 2 is 21. So, there are 21 ways. So, let us check using our scientific calculator. So, that is... 7 then 5 yeah, combination of 7 taken 5 at a time equals so there are 21 ways and for the last one B how about in how many ways can a student select each of the following for the 5 problems for example the student wants to answer three statistics problem and two geometry problems. So therefore, in this case, so we can divide it into two parts. So the first one is combination of how many uh, statistics problems are there out of 15 problems. So there are three. So combination of three taken all at a time. So, therefore, gusto niya sagutan lahat ng statistics problems. Times, combination of how many geometry problems are there. So, there are five. So, five geometry problems taken two at a time. So, therefore, in this case, so that is three factorial over three factorial times the quantity three minus three factorial. Or simply, that is equal to 1. Again, in combination, so kapag combination of an object taken all at a time, that is equal to 1. So meaning to say that there is only one combination or there is one way on how a student can solve a statistics problem. So kahit alin ang mauna doon, so hindi naman importante yung arrangement. Basta, sasagutan niya lahat ng statistics problem. So yung tatlong yun, sasagutan niya lahat. So how about the next one? So that is 5, 5 factorial over... 
So that is 5 factorial over 2 factorial times the quantity 5 minus 2 factorial. So that is 5 factorial 2 factorial. So 5 minus 2 is 3 factorial. So, since malaki yung 3 factorial, so para mas masimplify natin, so we can rewrite 5 factorial with a factor of 3 factorial. So, that it can be written as 5 times 4 times 3 factorial over 2 factorial, 3 factorial. So, pwede natin itong i-cancel. Equal, so 5 times 4 is 20 over 2 factorial. So, this is equal to 2. So, 20 divides 2 is 10. So, therefore, that is 1 times 10. So, that is 10. So, there are 10 ways. So, let us check. So, that is 3. Combination of 3 taken all at a time. Times... Combination of 5 taken 2 at a time. So, is equal to 10. Ayan. So, that's the end of our video lesson regarding solving problems involving combination. So, just uh, memorize our formula. So, again, uh, Mas mahalaga na mag-solve kayo manually para alam nyo yung process. So, before you check it using your scientific calculator. So, don't forget to share this video with others. So, give this video a thumbs up. And see you on my next video lesson. And thank you for watching.